Welcome everybody to this tutorial for TMS 3715, Teaching Home Languages in the FET. Your lecturer for this module is myself, Dr. D. Sanders. I look forward to supporting you in your studies and helping you succeed. My contact details are esanded.unisa.ac.za. Please feel free to email me if you have any queries. Today, our focus of discussion is going to be Learning Unit 2, Home Language Teaching, Principles and Approaches in a Multicultural Society. This is found pages 14 to 45, a tutorial letter number one. Please have this handy as we go through this tutorial. To begin, let's see what are the outcomes for this unit. To explain the principles of language learning and how they shape your philosophy of language teaching. To discuss the theoretical insights for language teaching and FET in the home language classroom, drawn from behaviorism, innatism, interactionism, and cultural sustaining pedagogy. We have the principles of structural, functional, and communicative approaches, how they shape language teaching in the FET age. Present your own philosophy of language teaching, drawn from the knowledge, theories of language acquisition, and approaches. Please keep these learning outcomes in mind as we go through this tutorial. To begin, principles that summarize the nature of language learning. Remember, language is a system of spoken, manual, or written symbols by means of which members of a social group and participants in its culture express themselves. The functions of language include communication, the expression of identity, play, imaginative expression, and emotional release. Language is a tool for communication. Language involves mastery of both skill and knowledge, and learners need to give serious consideration to the impact of feelings on language study. We will discuss each of these important points. Firstly, language as a tool for communication. Language is fundamentally means of communicating with one another in a social context. Effective communication requires one to understand and recognize the connections between a language and the people that use it. Communication is the tool conveys traditions and values related to group identity. We need language to ask questions, make requests, express emotions, and indicate doubt, and so forth. Language has three basic communication functions, namely representation, language is used to inform other people, appeal, Language is used to direct other people. And expression. Language is used to express mental states. Now it's your task. Discuss the above principle. Language is a tool for communication. Remember our discussion? Explain your understanding of this principle and how it impacts your teaching in the FET classroom. Please discuss with your fellow learners. The language involves mastery of both skill and knowledge. When we refer to this principle, we must remember that learners need to know word meanings and structure rules, as well as how to apply this knowledge quickly, even automatically, to express themselves smoothly, read competently, 
and comprehend spoken language rapidly. Study of language alone is inadequate. Practice is essential. For many learners, language learning has always been about learning grammar rules and memorizing vocabulary to perform well in tests without actually using language in real conversation. Language use has a heavy skill component, which demands that the user perform complex operations accurately and quickly. And this has some important implications for the ways in which learners must learn. Language learners need a lot of practice. Learn to speak well. Learners need to spend a lot of time speaking. In order to learn to read quickly and effectively, they need to spend a lot of time reading and so forth. Language need learners need repeated practice. It is essential to repeat activities several times before the learners can actually use the material automatically. Task two. The above principle. Language involves mastery, both skill and knowledge. And our discussion. Explain your understanding of this principle for teaching our FET learners in the home language classroom. Please share your views with our fellow students. Discuss amongst each other. Learners need to give serious consideration to the impact of feelings on language study. One states, the emotions are the foundation on which all your learning strategies, techniques and gimmicks will stand or fall. But without that emotional foundation, you are fighting and feel back at best. Learners who have a strong desire to learn and who feel good about their progress are far, far more likely to continue working hard in the long run. Basic rules of grammar and vocabulary can be learned within a few months. Mastering the language takes much longer. Think of your own experience in your own language classrooms when you were alone. Learners need practice to develop effective skills in listening and speaking, reading and writing, developing vocabulary, and this process is emotional. Learners need to understand the cultures of the language they are learning. Reaching a level of you learn using language skills that allows learners to use it for practical, personally rewarding purposes, helps sustain interest in continued use. Learners need to feel a sense of achievement as in progress, as we encourage them to self-efficacy. Task three, discuss the above principle. Learners need to give serious consideration to the impact of feelings on language study. And about our discussion, explain your understanding of this principle, just like we did with the other two principles. And of course, share your views and discuss with your fellow students. Oh, our thinking stop one. Think of the three principles just mentioned. Write a few sentences about each, explaining how this will impact on your teaching in the FET HR classroom. Remember, you're welcome to refer to Tutorial Letter 501, pages 15 to 18, Tutorial Letter 501. Please share your ideas on our discussion forum on our module site.
on Myrtle in Kingston One. Please think about it. Now our discussion turns to preferred approaches to learning. Language learners are a diverse group. They do not learn in a homogeneous way. This means that in designing a lesson, a variety of teaching methods should be used to cater for learners. Language learners are usually categorized into groups using sensory preferences, such as visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile learners. Language learners may also be categorized as extroverted or introverted. Let's discuss the sensory preferences. This refers to the physical, perceptual learning channels with which the learner is most comfortable. There are four groups of learners based on the sensory preferences. Visual learners, those who learn best by seeing. Auditory learners, those who learn best by hearing. Kinesthetic learners, those who learn best by moving and doing things, and tactile learners, those who learn best through feeling and touching. What type of learner are you? I know which one I am. And then our personality types, extrovert. These learners gain their greatest energy from the external world. They learn through interaction with others. These learners are sociable. They enjoy parties, have many friends, need to have people to talk to, and do not like reading or studying by themselves. These learners crave excitement, take chances, sit on the spur of the moment, and are generally impulsive individuals. These learners are carefree, easygoing, optimistic, and like to laugh and be merry. These learners prefer to keep moving and doing things and tend to be aggressive and lose their temper quickly. Introverts. These learners derive their en energy from the internal world. These learners seek solitude and tend to limit their interaction to a selected few. These learners are generally quiet, reserved, and distant, except to intimate friends. These learners are fond of books rather than people. These learners tend to plan and distrust the impulse of the moment. These learners do not lack excitement take matters of everyday life with proper seriousness and like a well-ordered mode of life. These learners seldom behave in an aggressive manner and do not lose their tempers easily. These learners are reliable, somewhat pessimistic, and place great value on ethical standards. Which learner are you? Think that. Stop two. Think of the four sensory preferences of the learners that we may encounter in our classroom. Write a few sentences about each, explaining how this will impact on your teaching in the FET HL classroom. You will come to refer to Torah Letter 501, pages 19 to 20. Remember our question? What type of sensory learner are you? Please share these ideas on our discussion forum. Thinking stop to our sensory preferences. In summary, principles of language can be summarized using Halliday's seven basic functions that language performs for language learning. Instrumental function, using language to get things done, regulatory function, using language to control the behavior of others, 
interactional function, using language to create interaction with others. Personal function, using language to express personal feelings and meanings. Heuristic function, using language to learn and to discover. Imaginative function, using language to create a world of imagination. And representational function, using language to communicate information. Remember these seven basic functions, instrumental, regulatory, interactional, personal, heuristic, imaginative, and representational. Super job. Well done. You've completed the first part of learning unit two, home language teaching, principles and approaches in a multicultural society. Thank you for joining this tutorial.